don't make sense. How, it would never make sense to me. How do you feel, feel about uh, Desiree Perez, Rock Nation? You know, um, there, there was a, um, obviously you know about what went down with the cartels and everything. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we actually, we actually did a story, posted a story on um, our website, and Rock Nation lawyers sent us an email demanding us to take it down. You know what I mean about her? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a fact. But what? how do you how do you, feel, how do you feel about that? Um, about Jay Z appointing her head of Rock Nation, knowing her checkered past with the DEA, FBI, and all that. How do you feel about that? What else are you going to do? When <laughs> you're working with her, what else are you going to do? You know what I'm saying? Um, she going to be around. You know what I'm saying? That's what's just like suspicious to me. You know what I mean? Um, homegirl got a strong position in there. And it's crazy that you know her background. And you know what we stand for. So it's just self-explanatory. You know what I'm saying? You, you, you working with them or you... You got to be working with them. As far as I'm concerned, Rock Nation is run by government. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Why, why, would, why would people think the government don't run businesses? You don't think by right now that they've got a major rapper that's a snitch, that's an informant? Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. You don't think in 2020 that they don't have a major rapper that's an informant? Come on, man. Um, I think this run by the government. I think that they, the government has to make money. Uh, you, and then you got to understand the people that these companies make money for. You got to look at some of these cases these niggas had. How niggas getting around certain federal charges. Yeah. You understand? Like, you start to question all that. Like, end of the day, nah, that shit don't, it's, it's not right. It's not right. You know what I mean? I call a spade a spade all day. But at the end of the day, there's no way possibly you can see and tell me on my case that they ain't here, they ain't got no conversations with Jay and Emery at all. It's don't, it don't make sense. So at some point, they got a hold of him and he's been working ever since. Desiree, mm -hmm. she good. She in a good position, always been in a good position. Don't know when they caught him up, but she in a good position. You know what I mean? And I don't understand, this ain't new. This chick, Desiree, is not new. So with all the Rock Nation artists that's supposed to have been so street, they know. They know. So it's okay. Like now, you know, going into 2020, like I'm not confused about it now. It's, I guess they're going to go with it's okay to to do business with informants. It's okay to, you know, to chill with them. It's okay, you know, as long as he, you know, it's a whole different set of guidelines for them. So we get it now. It's okay. You could talk to a snitch. You could, you could, you could do collaborations with them. <clears throat> they all over there. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I mean that's always been suspect to me. That's that that's been one of the reasons why I know Jay couldn't call me in over there. That mm -hmm. I wasn't gonna be a part of that. There's no way possibly, there's no you can't fathom that I was gonna condone any of that going on. You know what I'm saying? And it's funny that how is Emery comfortable over there? How how are they comfortable? We talking about niggas that done time. How are you comfortable knowing that this chick is a informant? You know what I'm saying? Like, there's no rule. It's over. It's over. Six nine would be doing music with man. Matter of mm -hmm. fact, six nine would be doing music with all of them. If they sold out, you know, there's I know that this generation, man, they do anything for money. Anything. They they don't they give up their morals, they give up, you know what I'm saying? They they everything they stand for just for a check. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't be mad, you know what I'm saying? Anyway. Like, it's a lot going around with this snitch shit. People don't know. They don't know the magnitude of it at all. At all. So when they tell me, like I said, you know, when they be like, yo, 6 9 know what he was doing. He knew he knew exactly what he's getting into. I mean, I can't agree with that. I cannot agree with that. Trust me, if anybody knew what they was getting into fully, when they come down to playing with them boys and, and doing this, I, I doubt he would have he'd have thought twice about it. He'd have thought twice about it. He knew that he can get in trouble for some of the shit, but he didn't know the magnitude of what he was getting himself into. Yeah, young and dumb. As I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they young, but you know what I'm saying? It goes back to the days of when they used to say, yo, we're gonna put a battery in his back. Mm -hmm. So who do you who do you blame? You know what I'm saying? 
who do you blame when you put a battery in your back in your back and you go with it and you think you're protected by these people and you're not you know what i'm saying and then you come to find out you, you the feds show you this and then you're supposed to be honest you know like i asked somebody i said yo if six nine would have never told and he just go ahead and rock with that life sentence would he still be getting respect hell no what they think they're gonna be running around going yo six nine it's hard he took that you think they gonna be doing that if he would have took the l yo <laughs> <laughs> It's crazy, man. That's why I humble myself and the game is over, man. And I try to tell these young dudes and, and preach to them that it ain't no it ain't no love in that shit. It ain't no okay. love in that. When you start having to realize and you say you even make a decision between you or your mom going to jail and you come down to those terms, you ain't ready for that. You ain't ready for that. So yeah, that whole conspiracy and rock nation, all of that is government run. I will not lie to you, man. Don't believe that the government don't run businesses. So. As you say that, and I connect the dots and watch the documentary, hear everything that you said in the past, watch Jay-Z's move, come, becoming a billionaire, one of the greatest rappers, if not the greatest rapper of all time. Is it fair to say that the reason why he cuts you off, your family off, everyone in the circle cuts you off, it's because there's something deeper going on and it does have something to do with where he currently stands right now with Walk Nation and everything that's going on. I believe that. <laughs> I believe that. Just like I believe, yo, man, like that's what I said, man. Learning it took him 13 years to grow and, and, and start to analyze and, you know, keeping it true with myself and, and trying to figure this out. You know what I'm saying? In so many ways, he saved me. So many ways he saved me, man. That's why I'm not, I'm not, I don't have no anger towards him. You know what I'm saying? It's so many ways sitting in that cell, um, waiting on him to come, you know, look out for me with the lawyers and all this. That's stuff that could have hurt me. You know what I'm saying? When I look at the bigger picture, if I'd have showed up in court with a legal defense team, that shit would have been against me. Cause they would have thought I really had what I had, what they were saying I had. And, and everything that shit, they would have been wondering like, where's this coming from? Could have made everything go wrong. You know what I'm saying? But the fact that he didn't even check on me is disrespectful. You know what I'm saying? The fact that he, you know, the way he misled me is disrespectful. But when you start looking, I start looking at the picture as a whole. You know what I'm saying? Sitting in that cell, I'm glad he ain't coming through. You know what I'm saying? I'm God. God showed up. You know what I'm saying? When I was praying that he come. The real God showed up, you know what I'm saying, and got me around it. So, like I said, you know, looking back at all of that, you know, it, it's definitely meant that, you know, things that happened for a reason. He couldn't come get me. You know what I'm saying? He couldn't, he can't mess with me. Once that all folded out, I already see it. I, I wouldn't have been happy over there. I would have stirred shit up. I would have stirred shit up. It would have never worked out for Desiree and whoever her team is. Mm -hmm. That's who really running shit. You know what I mean? Shit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's who running. So yeah, I, I'm cool with that. And I don't like I said, I just don't see how all the rest of them sit comfortably with it. So they must be all in on it. Amory on all the rest of them. They must they all condone it. But yet y'all really appoint fingers at some of these dudes that ain't half the, you know, half of the status of these dudes. You can you point fingers at them, but you won't say nothing to them. Man. Really, this generation is whack, you know? It's whack with that. What does that say about Jay-Z to, to, to throw such hard? To do that, though, right? If we're speculating that that's what's going on, or that's kind of what we're going along, and then to call you a snitch. What yeah, is that? That is. <laughs> <what I'm saying. laughs> then to call me a snitch, yo. I mean, that's, that's, that's terrible. Yeah, then to call me a snitch. But, you know, this is what happens, though. You know what I'm saying? Sooner or later, it all comes out. It all blows over. The show is over that, you know, you guys really tried to play me um, and count me out. You know what I'm saying? Y'all thought I would be doing life and probably in the Don Diva magazine praising me, but it didn't happen. And the fact of the matter that none of them could even man up and be like, yo, I apologize. Like, that's got to be the biggest thing in the world for some people. To be like, yo, man, I apologize. Some people look for an excuse. You know what I'm saying? Um, look for excuse to not apologize. Like, you know, you can, in other words, 
it's so simple to say, yo, you know what? I wasn't even thinking. Because they don't have no excuse, you know what I'm saying? They don't have nothing to come back on. And so sometimes it's just so easy to be like, yo, man, I, I mean, I, I was caught up in something and, and this and that and the third, I wasn't thinking. And all I can ask you is just, yo, can you forgive me? Simple words, man. Because some of the stuff that they've done is really, it's unforgivable. It's <laughs> really unforgivable. And if you talk, you know, you talk to some of my OGs and some of the gangster dudes that I really affiliate.